I've been in the golf business for 43 years. 30 of them happen to be right here at Stratton. Well, this is the 50th anniversary of golf here in the mountains at Stratton. And we decided to, after finding the original blueprints for all the greens on the lake and mountain courses, um, we're going to restore those back to their original shape. Well, over the years, the greens have a really tendency to round out. Um, they lose their shape due to a variety of reasons. So a lot of the pin placements and the natural approach shots have been lost over the years. So we're going to bring those back in and it will be a lot more challenging and it will make for some very interesting pin positions and a whole new look on the game here at Strath. The first green on Lake is just going to have some great pin positions and on the Mountain 5, which is the longest hole in the state, 620 something yards, um, the approach into that green is going to be changed dramatically. We had Mark Mungium, who's an associate with Jeff Cornish and has taken over his practice since Jeff has recently passed. Um, he was up here in May, and we, along with the original blueprints and some uh, documentation that he found in his office, we marked out um, the original contours back to the green. It takes a lot of cultural practices, a lot of airification, a lot of overseeding, um, and you know, fertility practices to uh, get the higher grass down to a lower height to cut of the greens, which ranges from. 0.12 to 0.15 inches. It's pretty tight. The whole process will take about a year, I figure. I, I think probably by next 4th of July, um, they'll be right consistent with the existing green surfaces now. Every architect has a very distinct style, and one of Cornish's are very large greens, which we happen to have, and big, high, flashy bunkers which is another thing that we'll be um, getting into this year is uh, restoring and reshaping and putting new sand in all the bunkers on Lake and Mount. When we were building the forest course in the early 80s, um, Jeff would just show up out of the blue and some of my guys would go, hey, there's a guy with an umbrella walking around the golf course and it might be like 90 degrees out and perfectly sun sunny but you know oh god that's Mr. Cornish I better go find him because he would never announce his presence he would just come make a tour of the course and about three days later you'd get a friendly letter from Jeff it was beautiful and he was such a gentleman as many of the older architects were another one of Mr. Cornish's uh, famous isms was that the first hole should be like a friendly handshake and get you to introduce yourself to the course generally very open and uh, very visible and it sort of greets you warmly that was his philosophy and that's what this place has done I mean it, you get on a lot of the tees and up here and you look and the expanses are just so vast it gives you the impression that you can just swing all out and go for it but you know there's seven miles of uh, brooks that run through the course there's hidden ponds nice little rolls and collection areas that come into play once you feel a little bit cocky or overconfident with your game